Hey guys, Daria here, so welcome back to the True Lenses series, the series where we stick a camera in front of the lenses of our VR headset. And this video is gonna be very, very interesting because so many headsets are coming up in this period and the resolution is just keep going up like crazy. We had the Rift S that is the first that we're gonna compare again with the resolution of 2560 by 1440 in a single LCD display that works at 80 Hertz. And we're gonna compare it of course with the Valve Index with the resolution of 1440 by 1600 each eye this time it actually works at 144 Hertz overclock or 120 Hertz. But this is not what we are comparing and they, of course, just arrived in the start of this show, the HP Reverb, the highest resolution in the market for the FOV, this is around 110 degrees, 114, as they say, but again, this is not an FOV comparison, we're gonna do that in the future, but here we're talking about a resolution of 2160 by 2160 each eye, that is impressive in an LCD display with, of course, RGB arrangement like all the others. So the pixel count here is just off the charts. But let's get to this comparison right away. Just be aware that this is not a science. These lenses are made for your eyes and not for the lenses of the camera. So take your own conclusion, see what you wanna see, and of course, vote in the pool over here so we can see all together which one is the best for us guys. I'm gonna talk a little more about these headsets at the end of the video because I think that this video doesn't really make justice with the reverb, but I also have to say that it's not all perfect. So I wanna talk to you a little more about it and yeah i feel i'm talking a little too much so enjoy the comparison through the lenses let's get into it Thank you. 
and here you have it guys this was the comparison between all these different headsets of course we're gonna see other comparison in the future and also as i said in the last true analysis video i also want to do an fov comparison because that's also very important because in this video we always have a, a crop of the image so we're not able to see how much an headset can actually see where the pimax of course is like 200 degrees 175 the HP reverb 114 and we have the index with 130 pretty much well in this way we can not show it now another thing I want to talk to you about is the HP reverb the sweet spot in the lenses is very very small and even if we have this amazing resolution and the clarity is just unbelievable guys like uh, you probably can see a little better uh, when I put the letters and stuff but the resolution is just crazy you see really every single details It's like to stay in, in a way in front of a regular monitor and a 1080p monitor pretty much and it's just something that they didn't try yet in VR the only problem is that the area where you actually see very good is very very small and you probably noticed also with the true lenses video where it was really hard to use like the lens of a camera DSLR that's pretty big and put it in there now one thing that you also saw in the video is some chromatic aberration that actually is there you're gonna find it in the really edges of the vision but there in the video for some reason was really really much more than it, what is in reality so I wanted to make it clear for that as well the clarity around is like if it's dropping the resolution probably something that Windows is doing to actually use the 2160 by 2160 in resolution that's very very high uh, but I also set it everything to manual and I see still like um, the clarity is not the same on the edges Anyway, also there's the Mura problem, so the brightness is not the same. You can't really notice that in the True Lenses video, but overall it has good colors and a good screen. But I don't know, I'm still a little combat if I should suggest it or not. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you more about maybe in the next week. But anyway, guys, as always, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like the video, dislike, like, subscribe to the channel for more VR and of course do the poll that it should be still up there in the little button so we can see together which one was the best for everybody let me know in the comment below which one do you prefer and which one do you think is the best and that is pretty much the same thing to say but yeah uh, let me know let me know if you want to see other comparison and uh, like maybe the Pimax because it's something that has a very very high resolution and we should compare it with this probably is a good idea or the Odyssey Plus or the original Vive and uh, original Oculus just to see like a big difference between generations let me know what you think about in the comment below and I see you guys later thanks for watching ciao